سب بلکو سب بلس سب اشوک سب مسز میرچندانی سب انسل سب گندن سب ایرو ویلکم تو دا کال ٹوڈے وی ہیو ا ویری انٹرسٹنگ ڈسکشن ویری آئی کین پرامس یو این ایوننگ اف انبلیویبل اسپریچول آہا ہاؤ ڈو آئی اچیو بوتھ اسپریچول پروگرس اینڈ میٹیریل پروگرس ہو از دا champion today who will explain how to attain both spiritual progress and material progress who is going to tell us shivam sir ji shivam ashok michani bolo sir ji to balance both one should first think whether he is interested in spiritual path or no he is he is serious or no okay then after that ashok after you become yeah. serious then what happens he has to make up his mind and he has to make a time table for that ha ah, are kya champion hai aap sir samjhao thoda sikhao sabhi ko sikhao kaisa spiritual or material progress kaisa time table banana hai mujhe to malum nahi hai mujhe dikhao thoda sir ji out of 24 hours 6 hours sleep 6 hours sleep baki 18 hours hai you give whatever maximum time for your materialistic life maximum for material you give because you require there ha ah. but that two to three hours you what you give for spiritual you have to be very serious in it with full mind yes ashok aap se baat kar rahe hain don't go away anywhere i want to talk to you before i jump mm-hmm. okay so yes, ashok pichani has given something lakshmi thadani uh, you are connecting when we are call was starting who will give us the answer to this who will tell us what is the method correct of spiritual progress and material progress this is the most important question to answer in life if you want enlightenment who will tell us i am going to salute the masters of today's session who will tell us shivoham shivoham girish without attachment or aversion raga dvesha ha ah. participate in leela ha ah. then what will happen both materialistic development and spiritual progress with will happen if you follow the methods which are required to get uh, spiritual progress no materialistic the- progress will automatically happen no with the challenges how to make materialistic progress along with spiritual progress this is a magical formula how to get what is the magical formula due to materialistic progress our spiritual progress should not get halted or affected so without aversion or hatred or uh, attachment we have to do everything i am not able to understand participate in leela also No, I am not able to understand. So you have to give me more clarity. Ashok Vichani and Girish, your discussion is incomplete with me. I want you all to explain clearly because yeah. I am promising people on this Zoom call. Correct. I am promising them that I am going to give answer. We have to give answer. Other Mohan Nalavalran is going to speak next. He'll say, what is the point? You don't give answer. Then what is, why should, mm-hmm. what is the use of this call? Come on, Mohan. Yeah. What is your view, Mohan? What is the way to make spiritual progress and material progress? according to me <clears throat> there is no difference between material progress and spiritual progress okay. as long as as long as you have the spiritual goal in mind even while you are working <clears throat> you are doing your karma whether you are in your office if you have if you are not worried too much about the outcome rather focus on the progress and and have a spiritual uh, way of life making uh, making creating wealth is not a crime no no it's not a crime it's not but a I'm... crime uh, at the end of the day you have to put food on the table but uh, uh, but if if you if you have how you make your money and what you do with it automatically if you are on the right track then you will have the spiritual goal automatically in mind so mohan the trick here 
the tricky part of this question, which I want you to contemplate along with the other, right? And we, like I said, before the end of this call, we all have to learn. We all have to learn the answer. And I don't come with a predetermined answer when I come and start a call. Yeah. The key word, Mohan, spiritual progress, material progress, both. This is the challenge which I'm requesting you to contemplate in the next five, 10 minutes before we get into the depth of it. Please think about it. Take the example of Warren Buffett. Yeah. He has made 50 billion and donated every penny for, for charity. What, so is he, his, what is his spiritual progress? That is not spiritual progress. He, he, he is giving all the wealth which he has created, he is giving for the good of humanity. Very good. But what is that spiritual progress? I think spiritual so. progress is something else. He is amazing. He, Bill Gates, Bill Gates and Bill Gates opened the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Unfortunately, they have had some recent image issues because of their personal life, but that doesn't change the good work he has done across the world. He has gone to Africa, he has changed the world in the Bill Gates Foundation. But this is humanitarian progress. There can be humanitarian progress and material progress at the same time. Can there be spiritual? What is the magic for spiritual progress and material progress? So let us, uh, Mohan, give me, let's see how it goes. Samatma and Sudhir Bhargava. Samatma, what do you have to say? Shivoham, sir. Shivoham. When uh, you are progressing spiritually, you are living in total surrender. Yeah. So you have surrendered. So that greed or that need for materialistic uh, progress is not there. Things fall in place. And uh, or in other words, like if you still have those uh, that greed, that means you're not at all on the path of spirituality. You're not progressing the path of spirituality. spirituality. So you're not giving the answer. What? How do I achieve both spiritual progress and material progress? When how? you surrender, things fall in place. But the surrender... You will attain spiritual progress and material progress? When you are spiritually progressed, you are living in total surrender. Because you know you are nothing. Sip but how do, you, how do you also progress materially? How do you? What? Progress, I mean, how do you, how do you have material progress? Uh, my Whatever you have, you are satisfied with it. You don't, you don't have a desire to need something more. And things come to you. You don't need so, to... But you are not giving the magic of the answer. How do I achieve both spiritual progress and material progress? So let us ask Sudip. I know I, this is a very interesting discussion. So let us ask Sudip Bhargava and then Bliko. Sudip Bhargava. Shivam sir. Shivam sir. Uh, sir, in mathematics, uh, in my early days, we used to be taught about optimization. Ah. In optimization, what used to happen is we used to have different set of variables. Right. There was a particular function that you has to be maximized or minimized. So that was Correct. a constraint. And then you have to set up the values for those variables. Correct. That ultimately, that function has to be maximized or minimized. That very good. Yeah. So how I look at it is I follow a very simple month, which I had shared with you earlier also. So I'll just speak that out. Don't avoid the work because it makes you lazy. Don't rush for the work because it makes you greedy. So by God's grace, I've been given a work profile where I can pick and choose my work. If I want to do something, I can do it. If I don't want to do it, I can refuse for it as well. Yeah. So what I try to do is that I don't run for the work. I will That's not fine. rush but behind you're my not customers. Me, but you are not giving me the formula. You are giving some mathematics formula of minimization, maximization, optimization. But you are not giving the answer. To uh, the I, I just come to it. So I hope I'm able to answer it. Just, just, yeah. just one more minute. If I'm yeah. not, then maybe you can correct me. So what I do is that I will not run for the work. Okay. If the work comes across, I will do it. Considering yeah. the fact that I will do the materialistic work only to the extent that it fulfills my needs. And I will make sure that the needs don't turn into the greed. Are gone now. Nah. By saying that your material progress is gone for a toss. No, that's okay. Let it go for a toss. But I will not compromise on my spiritual progress because that is my <laughs> main criteria. That spiritual progress I, yeah. not, uh, Today is going to be what they call in cricket a googly. You know, cricket may both googly, googly. Today, the master, I'm waiting for the master. 
let me see there. The uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Sudeep, I've interrupted you because you are. Uh, we have got the essence. Blico, do you have the answer? I want the answer, Blico. What is the magic, magical way? How to achieve oh. both spiritual progress and material progress? Who can answer? Blico. Sivoham. Sivoham, everybody. Sivoham. Bolo. Sivoham. So, uh, it is like, you know, sailing on two boats. Sailing on two boats is like, you know, achieving spir uh, spiritual goals and achieving material goals. Both very, is not very possible. Good. So not you possible. have two boats, Bliko? You have got two. How, how many boats you have got? Right now I have two boats. Very good. <laughs> uh, but so, so which but boat is one boat is, I, I kept priority number one and the priority number two, which is not a priority. Actually, it is uh, just to float into the sansar. We need to earn something. So I spend some time, but considering that as not a goal, goal is spirituality. Whatever I, I can work up to, I, might, I try to make it to minimum and stop it as soon as possible to my get dear my friends. full focus on. Okay. My dear friends, let me give you some perspective and then we get into a big discussion today. Who is telling that we should stop working? Who is telling that uh, we should we should not have uh, two boats? You can Sir, have two can boats. I interrupt? Who is this? Sorry. Yogini. So, I want to give you a perspective. Unless somebody has an answer, because uh, Atmatra, do you have an answer, Atmatra? Uh, yes, uh, sure, sir. Yes, I want to say sure. uh, we have to do hard work with uh, a mental mentality, nishkam work, nishkam term. So, okay. Uh, ha, kaam karna hai, magar uh, expectation nahi karna hai. Kaam ka phal to milne wala hai. Success okay. to achieve hone wala hai. I am still waiting for the magical formula. Sunil Chitta and Yogi, okay. what is the magical formula? Shivam Guruji. Shivam sir. I don't think we can sail in two boats. If your spirituality is your only goal, because that has to be the absolute priority. So you naturally focus on that. And the samsara that you see or you experience will be always considered by you as a Leela. And you will you will you will uh, do what what guides you spiritually to deal with the situation. So that you don't I'm get, waiting, you I'm don't waiting for entangled. formula. You're not giving me the formula. What what is is you drop materialistic progress and focus only on spiritual problems. So how do I, have to. I, how do I achieve both? That is impossibility, sir. Because materialistic progress... You are going against everybody. You are going against everybody else. Now wait, let me come. Let me deal with you. You wait, wait, wait. I want to deal with you. Please wait. Now, Yogini. You tell me, Yogini. Shivam, sir. Shivam. <clears throat> if... Uh, I ban ke agar mein kuch karungi, that means I am in my body, mind, and so, uh, ego. Then they don't go off the subject. How to achieve material and spiritual progress? Both. I have to drop my eye. Drop your eye. Bliss, last person. I want to give the answer perspectively and then have a discussion. Bliss. How to achieve bliss? Material progress, Hi. spiritual progress, both. Shivam, dear. Shivam, my dear. You have to accept and surrender and make it in the name of sin. Ah, wow. What are all beautiful answers you all are giving? Accept and surrender. And then what? By accept and surrender, you will have material progress and spiritual progress. Where is the formula? My dear, <laughs> uh, or oh, nobody else. So my dear friends, I'm asking you a question today and you will give the answer. Please open your ears, everybody. Loud, open your ears, like elephant ears. How can you do both? How can you do both? Go to Kashmir and Kanyakumari at the same time. How can you do both? Go to Kashmir and Kanyakumari at the same time. The only master who got the right answer is Chidanand, Sunil Chittan. Only one master got the right answer. The question, how do I achieve both spiritual progress and material progress? The answer, 
you can't. You can't. How can I jump in the swimming pool and be dry? The answer, you can't. My dear friends, when there is spiritual progress, you don't need material progress. Because spirituality is a wealth which is beyond material desires and greed. Many of us are lost. Many of us are lost in this samsara. We, I'm asking you the question, why do you want material progress? Only because of ignorance. Nothing is mine. I came alone, I will go alone. I came empty-handed, I will go empty-handed. You tell me a way to go to Kashmir and Kanyakumari at the same time. You tell me. Can you do it? Now let me tell you some more interesting thing for those of you who are a little disappointed at my answer. You can eat sapad of Kanyakumari and Kashmir. You can eat Kashmiri Vazwan in Kanyakumari. You can carry kebabs from Kashmir and eat in Kanyakumari. You can carry dal and rasam of Kanyakumari and eat in Kashmir. But you decide you want to go north or do you want to go south. My dear friends, in this world, people are not going north, people are not going south, south people are going in merry-go-round. In this world, people are not going north, people are not going south, people are going in merry-go-round. They are going round and round and round. And not only they are going round and round and round, they are going to be dead. They are going to be dead and they will return to earth in rebirth. How do you... This is a very direct question. And all of you who have agreed, or spoke on the opposite, please fight with me. Please fight with me. Please argue with me. I am open for argument. Argue with me. How can I achieve both spiritual progress and material progress? The moment there is material progress, there is spiritual regress. The moment there is spiritual progress, material progress doesn't matter. It becomes irrelevant. Because I am, let me tell you, with the grace of the divine, I have been making material progress for 25 years. Luckily, I am not one sadhu, one brahmachari, one uh, swami, uh, Chinmayananda. I mean, Chinmayananda. Oh, no. Do you know Chinmayananda? Chinmayananda was a big, was a big lawyer in Kerala. Bala. What is his name? Was it Bala? Or I don't know what his name was. Chinmayananda was a big lawyer. He had to let go to become Chinmayananda. Prince Siddhartha Gautama was a king. You want more examples? It's up to you. Raja Janak, the father of Sita, he lived in a palace, but he had no material ambitions. My dear friends, if you have material aspirations, you're heading in the opposite direction. If you have spiritual aspirations, Material aspirations hardly matter. Does it mean you should not enjoy? Does it mean you should not enjoy everything? Clothes, perfumes, food. No, you enjoy. But don't crave for material progress because the minute you are craving for material progress, there is a spiritual regress. Discussion. Now I want some tough questions. Who's going to give me tough questions now? I like Sunil Chittal's answer in consciousness. What shant me Sunil Chittal in Chidan and the mode he said, This is, you know, this needs a blessing of the divine. To be able to be in the state, Sunil, you are blessed. To be able to say it itself is a blessing. This is, a, this is a paroksh anubhuti. And our challenge is we should not lose this anubhuti. We are, we are caught in this material. My dear friends, fences, farces, faces, forces, they drag us into this material world. I'm telling you, we get dragged and we lose, we lose the treasure. Ratan tyag kodi sangrachai. Sadhu Vaswani. Ratan tyag kodi sangrachai. Hello, my dear friends. Uh, what, did, what did Adi Shankar said? Bhaja Govindam, Bhaja Govindam, Govindam, Bhaja Muramatai. Hey, you fool! Hey, you fool! What are you seeking? Material progress? 
Hey, you fool! Sorry to be aggressive today. Sorry to be aggressive, my dear friends. You can't. You want material progress? You will sink in the spiritual world. Come on, who's going to ask? I want some tough questions. Sudhir Pargava, Blico, uh, Blitz, Yogini, Ashok Nichani, everybody, Girish, all of you. I want some tough questions. I want some tough questions. Sir? Yeah? We can, when you drop the eye, everything is solved. Dropping the eye, what happened? When we drop the eye, so we are not worried about the material, materialistic progress. No, you didn't say that. You only said drop the eye. That's not the solution. Okay. Suppose you drop the eye. Is it? No, no. Suppose you drop the eye, but you are still chasing material progress with the body, mind, ego. Although you drop the ego. Body and mind. Suppose body and mind is still chasing the material world. Then what happens, Yogini? Understand the answer. What is the answer you understood today? Can you go to Kashmir and Kanyakumari at the same time? Can you go to Bombay and Chennai at the same time? Can you? No. You can go to Bombay, Pune at the same time or you cannot? Yeah. You can, because both are in the same direction. Same direction. You can go to Jammu and Srinagar at the same time or not? Yes. You can. Can you go to Trivandrum and Kanyakumar at the same time or not? No. You can. They both are in the same direction. Okay. You have to have, if you have the right direction, you will reach your right destination. If your direction is wrong, your destination cannot be right. My dear friends, let me tell you one thing. Don't expect me to sugarcoat and give you pills. Huh? I am not here to sugarcoat. So the Bhargava, all of you who have spoken, I want a, I want a closure on this. Ashok Nichani, Sudeep, Girish, all of you who have spoken, please give me a closure. Thank Start you, one sir. by one. Blico, I need a closure on this. Whether you all are not agreeing to this or not. I need a closure. Even Samatma spoke, right? Samatma also. Bliss also. All of you. Mohan Valrani. I want your closure. And if you're not speaking, you're, you're in doubt. Yeah. You're in doubt, Sim. Yes, please. Shum, Sajdi, Shum, this, means, on, uh, this means that if we are in the materialistic, this thing, we cannot achieve enlightenment. Understand what the good question. That's why I want you to speak, Ashok. Ashok, if you are going to Bombay, yes, sir. Same time, can you go to Rameshwaram? Where is Bombay? Where is Rameshwaram from Bangalore? Bombay is north <laughs> and west. Yeah, it's Rameshwaram north is south. And south. Rameshwaram is south. Can you go to Bombay and Rameshwaram at the same time? Can you progress in the journey or not journey? Not at the same time. Not, but not, the journey is one life journey, time. Ashok. Ashok Nichani, the life journey is one. Na. But, Sarji, we have to face uh, materials, our samsara also. Then we cannot uh, achieve the other spiritual path. You cannot progress in both. You can have material life, but you cannot progress in it, which means you carry your material duties on the spiritual path. Now, did you understand? Very important, I'm telling you. Yes, sir. Does it mean that a spirit person on the spiritual progress should give up the material world? Am I saying that? We should no. give the material world. No, it doesn't have to give up the material world, but you cannot have the same desires of spiritual desire and material desire at the same time, because material desires are opposite of spiritual desires. Not at the same, we cannot have both at the same time. Not at the see Ashok, you make up your, suppose you are saying now, Mera goal hai, I want to make five crores this year. If your goal is supposed to be make five crores, can you attain enlightenment at the same time this year Ashok? No sir. Why you cannot tell me? No, that is uh, because of my, other this thing. Because where will your attention be? Money. Your money. Your attention will be on money. 
I have given you all a very, very truth of life, which is difficult to accept. I like Chidanand being able to make that statement boldly. So you can't. You can't. If you want to go to Kanyakumari, go. You want to go to Kashmir, you go. Don't try to go to Kanyakumari and Kashmir at the same time. You can't. Bliss. I want first the people who have spoken. Thank you, sir. Vivek will come later. Vivek, please wait for your chance. Bliss. So, I have yes. let go of many desire. And I think I have to do more. And very accept my yeah, place, do you understand? my choice, and no, everything. Please. Do yeah. you understand you cannot have the progress in both? You cannot have yeah. progress, material progress and spiritual progress because they are both in the opposite directions. I don't want more. I'm happy with what I am. Yeah. So then you don't. Okay. Are, okay. So then you let. I'm not saying throw away all your money, throw away your house, throw away your car. No, I'm not saying that. But wow. don't be greedy for material progress. You be content in a material world and you progress on the spiritual path. Because the reality is this. I may die in 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. it may, I may be alive only for 30 seconds. What will I do with money in the bank? What will I do with my properties? What will I do with my gold and diamonds? My dear friends, what will I do? It's a complete waste. I have realized this. Does it mean I take all my money and throw it on the road? No, I'm not saying, I'm not talking foolishness. I'm not saying throw your material. You cannot attain spiritual progress except in the material world. You have to be in the material world, but you cannot have material progress and spiritual progress at the same time. Because yes, they both are going in opposite directions. Samatma. Shivam, sir. Sure. Uh, I understood what you said that you can't progress. But what I said was when you are progressing, these needs and needs vanish. So the question of progressing doesn't come at all in materialistic uh, way. Correct. Is that but, right? No, what you are saying was the right indication. But from today onward, you should not say like that. From okay. today onwards, did you, if, if the question is how do you progress in the material world and spiritual world, now what's the answer you will give? You can't. That's it. Don't say anything beyond that. Okay. See, Samatma, do you want to have clarity or do you want to have confusion? Clarity. I've told you, if you have, you have only two options, confusion or conclusion. Many of you are living a life of confusion. Many of you. If you are living a life of confusion, you will not have conclusion. You decide. Now tell me, can you have both? Can you have confusion no. and conclusion at the same time? No. No. If there's confusion, there is no conclusion. No conclusion. If there's confusion, then there is no confusion. Yes. So this is what, if there's a mind, there is confusion. If there's consciousness, there's conclusion. Conclusion. Yes. Thank you. Who else has not spoken? Blico, Sudeep. I'm waiting for your answers before I go to Vivek. I said, Vivek, but out. It's a job that Hamare log. Sudeep is coming up. Sudeep, pass Sudeep, and then Vivek. Sudeep. I just had a sim simple doubt, sir. Huh. Person who is having a job, let's say, for example, so having a should leave the job. First of all, yes or no? no. Just a simple yes or no. Should, no. He, should he leave the no. job? You don't have to leave so If he's job. doing the job, then maybe he might get a promotion also in one or two years or three years. He's not looking for the promotion. He's doing the job only because he has to meet his daily expenses. So where did, I tell you, where did I tell you that if you get a promotion, you must not accept it? Did I say that? No, that's what I said in my answer that my yes. I'm working only to the extent to meet my needs. And I have a simple number for that, that I want to earn only this amount of money, which is going to pay my, for my house rent, for my school, uh, children's so, school expenses and for food so, for me. I don't go more than that. I make sure that I don't earn more than that. No, I don't know. You can earn more than that. That's a mistake. I'm not telling don't earn more than that. But listen to me carefully. No, because if I earn more than that, maybe I'll have to compromise all time for the spiritual activities. No, you don't need to do that. that. Right? Because, you don't need to do that because you want spiritual progress. Sudeep. My question, my submission to you is as follows, Sudip. When a question is asked to you, how do I achieve both? 
spiritual progress and material progress what is the answer no i theoretically i can say that yeah, i need the spiritual progress agree from no, the spirit, no, no. from the theory that's point not, of view okay i'm saying that point. what action should i take now no sudhi that's what the that theory into my sudhi sudhi the job sudhi no don't leave the job please wait i'm going to explain it to you i'm going to explain in detail to you the question in today's discussion how do i achieve both spiritual progress and material progress please answer how do i achieve both spiritual progress and material progress if there's a choice between two definitely spiritual progress no that's not the question listen that's carefully what I'm you're not listening okay. to the question how do i achieve both material progress and spiritual progress i want the answer to deep bhargava no both of them together may not be possible so the answer is very simple i want you to give the answer you can't i agree with that I, sir I, okay wait wait now you now so you're then what's next now to your situation in your situation because i was not talking about your situation we were having a question and answer session in ask care we have a question we have to answer that question chidanand gave the answer in just one word chidanand said you can't that's all normally chidanand no kya kya baat he will he will start speaking some some things i have to stop him chidanand namaskar chidanand please apna spirituality thoda bhashan thoda kam kar i with all of humility i put my folded hands right and chidanand will tell ye ye kya kya bolte chidanand sanskrit mein main confused ho jata hu today chidanand came with such consciousness i asked him the question sir how to achieve spiritual progress and material progress with such amazement he said you can't <laughs> that's all you don't need bhagavad gita for enlightenment i told you all kal ka yesterday oh not yesterday when was it i gave i think i, I didn't give you all the two hands was today today's meeting what did i speak it was two hands so or the, did i tell you all yesterday how to achieve enlightenment sometimes i get confused and have two meetings so sudip bhargava it does not mean you should give up your job it does not mean you should not do your survival duties nowhere on this call no never we say do we ever say don't do your job don't earn salary don't do we ever say do we say throw your family out do we say but if your family is becoming a hurdle in your spiritual progress then you decide what you want if your family is taking you south and your spirituality is going north you decide you want kashmir or you want kanyakumari my dear friends i am very clear i want to go north nothing will pull me south you know something i don't know how much money i have i don't know how many properties i have i have enough and more you know even we are taking care of 750 poor people in the ashrams 750 anath anath destitute in the ashram but i don't even pay attention to that because i am single focused on my spiritual focus on my spiritual progress and dear sudeep bhargava the question was how do you achieve both are you clear don't think you have to stop your work please don't stop your work don't stop working hard don't stop earning but don't set material goals surrender and accept who told somebody as the yogini said as who said surrender and accept if you are on the spiritual progress sudip bhargava do you think your material needs will be taken care or you have a doubt so they will be taken care of i have no doubts about it my only point was that what change can i bring in my work profile what i am doing today is it right or wrong that you Because, have to like i said i do not rush for the work if it comes across i'll do it and so my answer to you my ability my answer to you please listen carefully you cannot have spiritual progress and material progress at the same time learn i'm asking you a question sudip bhargava from the material condition that you are today can you survive have you been surviving can you survive yes i can that's it full stop full stop where should your progress be headed towards the spiritual side full stop that's my answer to you does it mean you should kick the material world no you be in the material world you have to the boat needs to be in the river to go forward can i tell the boat nahi no, boat niklo come on get out of the water boat kahan jayega aap get out of the water 
But my dear friends, you know what we are doing? Let me tell you. This is what we are doing, most of us. Spiritual progress, material progress, spiritual progress. You know something? You are going two steps forward and two steps back. 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 Where would you be at the end of the day? You would be there you were. You need to go two steps forward and 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 two steps forward. Step forward. Some of you, in the day you go two steps forward, in the night you go two steps back. What is the use? Subuko, you are reading Bhagavad Gita, Ratko, you are drinking Sharab. Subuko, Bhagavad Gita, Ratko, Sharab. Where will you reach, man? If at one point you are trying to make money and you are cheating the world, and the second point you say, there is Prabhu in everybody, how will you reconcile these two? So I want the rest of you who have got doubts because this is a this is a master stroke. Today's subject is a master stroke. Mohan, do you have any doubts in this? Because you have a very deep uh, deep thinking philosophy. Do you agree or you are not in agreement? Uh, sorry, I mean I don't want to sound very arrogant or rude, but I don't agree. Oh, I know that you don't agree. That's why I asked you because I know because, you don't agree. Because so, because by your logic, yeah. ninety nine point nine nine percent of the people in this world are not qualified for spiritual progress. Are not well, qualified very, for enlightenment. Yeah, you are right. Qualified because they have to they have to follow a worldly way of life. But yeah. what you have to do is follow the dharma. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever you do, there should be dharma, there should be God, fear of God, and you have you have to be it's not that uh, like you said that um, you are making money means you are cheating. No. You are not cheating. If you are making money, you are not cheating. Okay. Now I want your patient. I want your patience for one minute. One minute, just yeah. because I have to give you a perspective, and then I would love you to ponder and question again. So, because I love your disagreement, I respect your disagreement. So, can I put this point in front of you, Mohan? Sure, Mohan. This journey is called the journey of realization. This is the journey of self-realization. This is a journey of enlightenment. The point is this, Mohan. Enlightenment and self-realization makes us realize that in this world, nothing is ours. We come with nothing and we go with nothing. This is the whole journey of life. Mohan, you may be, an, you may be a Mukesh Ambani. You may be the richest man in the world. You may be Bill Gates. You may be anybody that Warren Buffett. You may be anybody. At the end of the day, you are going to be in your grave. You cannot take a pin with you. Spiritual progress is this realization. Spiritual progress says, I am not against materialism. Mohan, I am not saying that 99% of the world should become sadhus. No, I myself am a materialist. I myself lived 25 years doing all the nonsense in this possible world. But then the realization came. Progress I want, because there's only one progress in this world. If you progress, Mohan, if you have 1 million and you add a zero, it becomes 10 million. You add a zero, it's 100 million. You add a zero, it's 1 billion. You add another zero, 10 billion, 100 billion, a trillion. In the end, the one is going to drop. And what is left is zeros. That one is going to go out of our life. So, this is a very tricky question, Mohan. The tricky question, how to have material progress and spiritual progress. It is a, it is, jo, jo, what in Hindi they say, Mohan, I don't know if you're familiar with Hindi. It's called Kadava Sach. Are you familiar with Kadava Sach, Mohan? Yeah. Kadava Sach means bitter truth of life. But Mohan, I am not saying that all rich people are crooks and all rich people should do. I myself, Mohan, I'm a member of Young President's organization. I have a lot of wealth. I am living a very, very modestly luxurious life. But there cannot be material progress and spiritual progress at the same time. Because a spiritual progress calls for renouncing progress in the material world. It doesn't call for renouncing the material world. But it calls for renouncing the progress in the material world. So are you understanding what I'm saying? I'm not saying you should yeah. agree. But are you understanding what I'm saying? Yeah. 
and I have a humble request, Shikhar, because you are one of those one of those achievers in this world. Please, I am with folded hands. I am requesting you to please think about it, and to please let us have your thoughts again. This will be of great value to the group. That is my humble request to you. Before time runs out, thank you, Mohan. Vivek, आपको कुछ फटाफट सवाल पूछना है पूछिए आप. शिवम एवं जी. शिवम शिवम. हाँ जी मैं बस एक बात कहना चाहता हूँ जो मुझे पता थी कि मैं भगवान को रख के आप अपने सारे काम करते रहिए तो आप भगवान के साथ भी रहेंगे और अपने काम भी करते रहेंगे ये मैंने ऐसे सुना था नहीं आप क्या बोल रहे हैं भगवान के साथ रहो और भगवान के काम करो मैं आपका वॉइस बहुत क्लियर नहीं है मैं कह रहा हूँ कि आपको जो अपनी लाइफ में काम करना है जैसे भी काम करना आप कीजिए और आपके मन में हमेशा भगवान रहने चाहिए नहीं ओनली आपके सामने भगवान रहने से कुछ नहीं होगा <laughs> ऐसे लाखों लोग हैं जरा मिलियंस में विवेक जो अपना काम करता है और मूर्ति के सामने बैठते हैं मंदिर में जेली तो बिल 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 मारते हैं क्या होगा बिल मारने से गुरु जी योग में नो no, यू आर ये भगवान भगवान तो आपके अंदर है हाँ जी. आपको भगवान के साथ रहने का मतलब आप ही भगवान है हाँ जी. अरे आप स्वयं भगवान है तो आपकी ये अनुभूति चाहिए My dear friend, thank you, Vivek. Before I close in thirty seconds, I have only one message to tell you. Do you want to go to Kashmir or Kanyakumari? Do you want enlightenment and liberation, or do you want to return in this world for another journey? The choice is yours. I am nobody to direct you. I am a guide. The guide will tell you what is the way forward. The choice is yours. i am not here to force you i am not an evangelist i am not forcing a religion on anybody i speak about the truth i am a man who was chasing millions for 25 years everything i touched turned to gold i opened the largest retail business in india before modern retailing came to india i made enough and more money before i realized what would gain what would gain a man if he gained the whole world but lost his own soul the bible i realize the truth about life my dear friends and every day at 8 i come with all humility with folded hands to submit the truth to you therefore today when mohan had a different opinion i welcomed it i knew he had a different opinion i want that to come so that we can discuss what is spiritual growth and what is material growth and before i close my salute to sunil chittal my humble salute and pranam for coming forward with such a simple answer what is the way for material growth progress and spiritual progress the answer you can't with folded hands i bow down to you